hi guys it's your island girl and today i'll be showing you how, how to get that mouth watering tender moist oxtail yes i'm going to give you all the secret to an amazing amazing jamaican style oxtail guys so let's get into this video so here i have some oxtail i already washed and cleaned up with vinegar and lime water now i'm going to add my natural seasoning and show you guys from there what i do so i just add some onions now i'm about to add some pimento yes it's pimento bean but i don't just put them whole so i'm going to crush them to get all that flavor out of it so i'm using three i'm going to put it in my yeah and crush them just a little bit there and pour it in my baking pan now guys i'm going to add my garlic as you can see what's taking place i am going to crush my garlic and apply it to my oxtail just follow along and you see what takes place so guys today as you can see i'll be showing you step by step how to make Jamaican style oxtail. It's not a typical way you guys would know how to make oxtail. It's a little bit different and it's mess free and you are going to enjoy this. I guarantee you, you'll never look at oxtail the same again because you're going to say it's that easy. Now we're gonna add some minced onion. Can I help myself? even though I've already added fresh onions. I'm going to add jerk seasoning. I don't go without my jerk seasoning. I can't go without my jerk seasoning because it has all the ingredients you can think of and then it adds that kick of spice, that heat. Now we're going to add some Old Bay and I'll leave in the description the exact amount that I use. After I've added my obey, I am going to add some garlic powder, guys. There you have it. Garlic powder will be added. And after your island girl add garlic powder, I am going to add some browning. Yes, browning. So we are not going to sear this oxtail. We're not going to put it in any oil to sear it no we're not to give it that brown no the browning that i'm applying right now is going to do the job also i want to say this and i want to stress this but before i do my number one seasoning larry seasoned salt you all know i don't go without my larry larry in everything larry seasoned salt that's my number one season, my go-to season right there. Guys, now I'm going to rub everything in. And, yes, get my hands messy. Just work all that season in that oxtail because I'm going to let it sit and marinate for at least four hours. You can let it marinate overnight, but the way that I'll be cooking it, you can even let it marinate for two hours because you're going to all that flavor will be in it by the time that you're finished so now guys like i was saying before do not and i repeat do not add any oil to your oxtail you will see why i say that almost to the end of this video okay now that my oxtail has been marinated i'm going to show you guys what i do next i am going to add water to this oxtail that has been marinated guys so i'm going to apply some water pour some water not just a generous generous amount of water just to cover the oxtail that's it just enough and then I am going to cover this oxtail and put it in the oven 
and let it bake on 400 for two hours. That's it. 400 degrees in the oven. Yes, guys, it's going in the oven. Yes, so you can find everything else around the house to do. Going in the oven. There it is. For, what did I say? Only two hours. There you have it. So while my oxtail is in the oven, I am going to show you, there it is, 400 degrees. Preheated already at 400. While my oxtail is in the oven baking, I'm going to prep what I'm going to cook on the stove top. I am not going to use any beans because I'll be pairing it with rice and beans. So I'm going to pair it with carrots, garlic, now we're going to add onions again guys and potatoes yes i said it there i have some potatoes already cut up i add my carrots and my garlic now i add my chopped onions guys i'm going to put this on the stove top to cook and now i'm going to add some butter you know how it is when it comes on to butter <laughs> let's put this on the stove look at my oxtail guys already baked so i'm going to pour off the juice from my oxtail in the pot yes we're still getting all that flavors in we don't want to throw that away and put it on the stove top and we're going to let this cook all these provisions that are in the pot will be cooked tenderized and then guys I am going to show you what I do next. Now I add some more Larry seasoning. I add some Obe. And I'm going to add some parsley. I know you all can smell what's going on in this house. I know that. I'm going to add some more garlic powder. And I'm going to add some minced onion. And guess what I'm going to add again to this pot some more jerk seasoning yes guys jerk seasoning we're going to let that cook for about 10 minutes on the stove top now as you can see guess what i'm about to do i'm about to add some tomato ketchup in this pot yes i am because that is going to help to thicken the sauce and you know it adds flavor you all know don't it <laughs> let's continue with this guys so I know you all if you follow this step by step I guarantee you you will be eating oxtail night and day and licking your fingers from left to right so as you can see my potatoes my carrots my onions are all simmering down in this juice from the oxtail. So now, I just added my tomato ketchup to the pot. So tomato ketchup added to the pot. When I'm mixing my tomato ketchup, just to stress, I always add it in warm water. I'm tasting my pot now to ensure that it has enough salt and it is perfectly flavorful now i'm going to add guess what guys the oxtail to the pot so it can suck all that natural flavorful juice that is inside the pot yes guys so now i am going to let this sit and cook look at that oxtail it literally is so tender it's about to fall off the bone Look at that, guys. Look at that juice. Look how thick and rich that sauce is in the pot. Look at it. Oh, I can see the, the flavor, the aroma that is in your house. I'm telling you, your next door neighbor will be knocking on your door trying to find out what you're cooking over there. You just tell them to come on over and check your Island Girls Can Cook channel out. And you will definitely, definitely not regret that request or that info. Okay guys, there you have it. The oxtail is now done. Ooh, it's bubbling, it smells so good. I'm going to show you the end result. Here it is on a plate. There you have it. 
flavorful, moist, mouth watering. You can see the steam coming out of that plate. Oxtail, look at those potatoes. You can tell how soft they are. The carrots, you can see the garlic. And with that pimento seeds, and then I add some green onion just to top it off on top. Take a little, let me put you a little closer. Can you taste it? Can you see how soft and tender that oxtail is? There you have it guys, my secret is out. I bake my oxtail in the oven. Guys, I just want to say to you, cook on your yard. There is no mistake in the kitchen. Thank you so much for coming into the Island Girl channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.